Okay, well today we have something new. It's very new because I haven't even tried them myself. They just arrived today. They've been recently launched. I think they were launched like three days ago, not much. And these are the brand new Sony's ULT. ULT, that's what they're called. Finally, an easy name. Not WH Mark 1005, not WB, not nothing. ULT. So let's pop them open, link them to my phone, and see what they're about. They're supposed to be focused for people that are actually base hits, but I really don't know. I haven't tried them yet. Okay, so inside the box, what do you get? Only this case. I mean, I kind of trashed the box, so that's why we're only using the case right now. It's on the floor. It's not looking well. But let's see what's inside the case. Okay. Wow, these are very similar to the WH Mark Vs. Very, very similar. Although, I can tell you right away, material-wise, a lot cheaper. They're not as premium feeling as the other ones. Even the leather feels a little bit thinner. The band feels a little bit more fragile. The metal slide inside the band is actually pretty thin as well. It's not as thick as you can see in other headphones or even the Mark Vs. So I guess that's according to the price because these are cheaper than WH-1001 uh, M5s. Let's call them M5s. A lot cheaper than M5s, so it makes sense. But what do these bad boys actually do? Well, according to its specs, they do have noise canceling. We're gonna test it in a second. They also have a battery of about 30 hours of continuous playing with noise cancellation enabled. So not bad. There are Chinese headphones that are giving you between 70 and 120 hours, but no mainstream brands. So for mainstream brands, not bad. Comfort wise, well, let's pop them open. They feel kind of loose. Oh wow, that's that isolates pretty good. It's not bad, and noise cancellation is not even on. Let me see. Yep, not, nothing's on, and they do isolate pretty good. Okay, so comfortable. They feel light. I don't think I'm gonna have any issues wearing them through long sessions. Although I'm gonna have a full review further along, so you guys can subscribe and check that out in case you don't want to miss it. But definitely light. I will tell you something. If you wear eyeglasses that might be an issue because they do press on you. They're made to isolate, so the pressure is there. It's not uncomfortable, they're soft, but there is pressure. So when you add the glasses right here in this part, you might actually feel a couple of, you might actually feel a little bit of pain. So that might be an issue for a few persons. Now, let's link them to my phone and see what they're about. Okay, now I linked them to two phones for a reason. The first phone I linked them to was the iPhone 15 Pro Max and wanted to see what the experience was there. No big issue, regular Bluetooth headphones. And obviously iPhones are not compatible with the LDAC codec. So I wasn't even gonna know if these had LDAC or not. But once I linked them to the S24 Ultra, surprise, they do have the LDAC codec enabled in Bluetooth settings, which is odd because Sony doesn't put it in the box anywhere. I couldn't find the specs online where it said they did have LDAC. And I think they're afraid of not selling as many Mark Vs if these go and do well. They're a lot cheaper. So people, so people might actually prefer these with a lot of bass, uh, also having codecs like LDAC and also having noise cancellation. They might be a better option, but still, still on the edge for that. Let's try them out for a second. Let me go straight to the S24 Ultra. By the way, these have a special button. It's here on the side and that's supposed to be the thumb button. Yeah gonna tell you what that is in a second let's play some electro that's gonna be good for the bass okay okay decent bass right out of the box nothing nothing too extreme not too rough but definitely not balanced audio it, it, it is trending towards the bass let's see oh wow so you press the magic button, and the first thing you greet it with is an explosion. It literally sounds like an explosion. Okay, got significantly more bass. Still not too extreme, but a lot more fun for people that enjoy bass. Let's press it again. Okay, another explosion. It literally sounds like an explosion. I'm not making this up. Way more bass. I mean. 
These are not to the level like maybe Skull Candy Crushers, which are the most extreme and crazy headphones I've tried with haptic bass, but close, close. This is natural bass. It's not vibrating and fun. I think people that like bass are gonna enjoy these. Okay, let's try something else. All right, now I can know if I'm screaming or not. Yeah, they do have similar functions like the Mark Fives. You can put your hand on them to tap to talk. They do have touch controls on the side and the noise cancellation on these bad boys, not bad. I can't actually tell the difference between the M5s and these right out of the bat. I mean, I have to compare them, but I do use the M5s daily, so I know what I'm talking about. Noise cancellation, pretty close, if not the same, which could be pretty interesting for a pair of headphones that are a lot cheaper than those premium ones. Well, but the bass is gonna be the main selling point on these bad boys. It's really, really good. I mean, I'm telling you, you don't get that heptic feedback like you do with some crushers but you do get very deep and strong bass another thing i noticed is that when you're increasing the bass you increase the other frequencies as well i didn't lose any vocals or mids whatsoever that's what actually happens sometimes when you have these heavy bass headphones you lose some of the other frequencies because you're sacrificing them and it starts to become silly and unusable but this is not the case. I could still hear the voices, I could still hear the mids, and still enjoy those crazy, and still enjoy that crazy bass on the background. But I will tell you something, the mids are okay, they're clean. They're not the cleanest I've ever heard. They are clean M5s, just at first glance. And also the vocals are pretty good. They are clean, they don't hurt you, you do have clarity in them, so pretty good. But the mids is where I can actually tell these are a lot cheaper than the other ones. Still, price range might be worth for a lot of people. These are about 250 bucks, more or less. And the M5s, when they came out, if I'm not mistaken, were between 300 and 350 in some countries. So depending where you live, the price might vary. But where I live, they're about $250. For that price, I think they're pretty good if you like bass. You get good battery life. They're good for traveling. They got the traveling case. They do have LDAC. And you don't have to have that crazy bass on all the time if you don't want to. Just enjoy them like regular headphones and they'll probably be good enough for most people. Still, let me know if you want the full review down in the comments. I'm planning on doing it anyways, but I'd like to know, so please drop a comment. It also helps us out with the, with the algorithm, you know. Starting out here in the English channel. By the way, thanks to all of you guys that have been watching the videos recently. All the people that wrote us on the latest video, great people. Thanks a lot for your support. Thanks for the likes, and also, thanks for subscribing. By the way, if you're new around here, consider doing the same thing. Drop a like, drop a comment, whatever you do, and thanks for supporting our work. Have a good day.